B'Shem Hashem Kel Elom, Eid Chabi Yeisher, Levo Glom Di Mishkri Tzidkacha, in the name of Hashem, Hashem of the world, I shall thank you with an upright heart when I learn the, the judgments of your righteousness. Sefer Shleisha Ser, Sefer Mishpatam, we're going to begin now the 13th book, which is the book of judgment. The Chesu Chamish contains five sets of Allah, Zehu Sidurin, and this is their order. Hefa Sfiris, the laws of Sfiris, of the Shele Pikadan, so now we're going to learn the laws of Schiris. Ishbuchalah Sheva Mitzvahs. They contain seven mitzvahs. Shalish Mitzvahs Asay and Rabbin Mulesa Asay. Vizel Pratan. Din Safar Vashem Rasafar. The laws governing governing a hired worker and a paid watchman. It is Schar Safar Bi Yimei. To pay a worker's wages one to. Shalai Afer Schar Safar Afer Zmanei. At the delay payment of a worker's wage after a fall is due. For a worker to be allowed to eat from the produce with which he is working, that a worker not eat from the produce at the time, the worker not eat from the produce at the time he should be working. That a worker not take more than what he eats, and at the mother house while it's threshing. We have a set of brachim in our aleph. Arba shemim nemra batera. There are four types of watchmen mentioned in the teda. Ushleisha dinin yeshlahem, and they're governed by three different rules. Ve'elu ena arbaim shemim. These are the four types of watchmen. So you have a shemer chinam. You have a watchman who is unpaid. Ve'hashel, and you have a borrower. Ve'nei sefer, and then you have which is shemer sefer, a paid watchman, and ba'asifah and the rest. Base. And these are the three rules that govern cases involving the Shemer. Shemer Chinam Shedignam Habikadam Imeno. When you have a Shemer Chinam, what a trusted article that was given to him was stolen from him. Or it was lost. And needless to say, if it was destroyed by forces beyond the watchman's control. Well, Mesa, for example, he borrowed a behem and died, a nishbis, or got captured, or the nishbis for shemer kedera hashemim, who putter. So now this shemer chinam swears that he washed it properly, and he's putter. Shemer like it says, with gunum in beisa ish, benikra balabayis eloliim. Terus says it was stolen from the man's home, and the homeowner shall approach the judges. Hashel mishalem akel. So that's by shemer chinam. Hashel, a borrower mishalem akel. He has to pay everything. Terry says a borrower must make restitution in all instances where the borrower object, object was stolen, was lost, stolen, or destroyed by factors beyond his control. In other words, he borrowed an animal, a borrowed animal died, was injured or taken captive. For with regards to the borrower, it says it becomes injured or dies. But its owner is not with it, he must certainly make restitution. Neza Safar, a Shemer Chinam, Shemer Safar, paid watchman, and Ha Seikher, and the Shemer Din Echot. Eshlehem, they have one Allah. Im Nignev, a Ovad, a Dover, a Safar, a Shinatul Safar, a Shinatul Safar, a Shinatul Safar, a If the thing which they paid for or they rented is lost by forces beyond the watchman's control, so, okay, if the article that was trusted or, in, or was rented or entrusted for a fee that was lost or stolen, they must have to make, make a restitution. And they have to pay. If let's say it was beyond the control, for example, it died or it got captive, I get to before it became a tefa. So they they make a shua that it was an accident, and they're patrish. Remember, it says a mason yishbar a yishba in the shua is a shem called exceeding. But if you're gonna meet me, shalom shalom both. In this emir, so comes out shemer chinam yishba lachil shemer chinam. He swears on everything, and he's patrish. Ba shail a bar rishal masakol chus when a mason b'shas malachos mishes bar a shail has to pay for everything except if it died. B'shas the malacha. It's a suffer of a safer and a shemer chinam shemer suffer. And a renter, they pay for the Avid in the Geneva, and they pay for uh, in his Godel. 
uh, sorry, and they make a shua on a nosim gadolim. For example, shua or shua mitzvah Torah. I shall be the daber between the shtavu biyam and shenukat bolistim mizim. Or let's say it was taken, or was it sunk, and it was a uh, it was a uh, beyond the control, or there was bolistim mizim. The thing called it's beilu mishara nosim magdelo. Gimel hamafke eitz lachavede and bechinam and besachar yishila iskida. When a person trusts an article to a friend for safekeeping, whether he offers payment or not, or lends an article or hires it out. If the watchman also asks the owner of the article to work for him, or he hires him together with the article, then Potter McClum, he's Potter of everything. Even if it was lost because of negligence, he is not Chayiv. As it says, the owner is with him, he not make restitution. If he is a hard worker, he comes with the wages. When do you say this? Because Shashal Abaylim is hard and Beish and not all chafets. Alhobish and Abaylim Sham Imi Beish and Neva Veda Oi Beish and Anas. When does this apply? Well, the watchman asked for hired or hired the wor- owner of the work at the time he took the article, even if the owner was not with him at the time of the article was stolen, lost or destroyed by forces beyond his control. If by contrast he took the article and became responsible as a watchman at the outset, I will give him not all chafets when I saw love shame, Ritzchilo. If he took the chavis and became a shimmer, and then back of Sakhar Abailim, and then the Bailim hired him, Oh, Shalom, or he borrowed off, be sure you're Bailim, and you're Shalom, his shin, and as a dubber, a shamber, Arzim, or Shalom, yes, the patient, and this is Bolivin, you know, Shalom, Shalom, Pierre, for a lundo, but you know, Shasta Shalaf, be sure any base of Geneva, if he was with him at the time of the borrowing, but not at the Geneva of Amisa Potter, but you know, Shasta Shalom, but if he was not with him at the time of Shalaf, be sure you may base Amisa, even if the owner was with him, Shasta Yisra, and Shri, and then he's Kaibu, and then the Shah Shalom, Kulma Bailim, Tulum, this is Allah in regards to negligence that even if the owner is with him, the Shia is violent Potter. Dal, call Shemesh of Pashab Tilosa. Any watchman which is negligent when he begins carrying the article Afish and Nanas Pasif, even though ultimately it was destroyed by forces beyond his control, he's a Mikhaib Mushismar. Baina Shah Rashil Ashla Afilo Shal Sifatir Shakol Kedab by Is Mitsula Yishlon Wahar. A borrower is not allowed lend and trust an article to another person, even if the borrower borrows a Torah scroll, at which instance anyone who reads it is performing a mitzvah, he may not lend it to someone else. Even a sefetera was rented to him, he may not rent it to someone else. So what it is, that the owner will tell the watchman, I do not want my article to be in someone else's hands. If the watchman says grace and entrusts the article to another watchman, if there are witnesses who testify that the second watchman guarded the article in an appropriate manner and the article was destroyed by forces beyond his control, the first watchman is not chayib. For there are witnesses that the article was destroyed beyond forces of his control. There are no witnesses to give him testimony. The first watchman is five to pay the owner, and he trusts the article to another watchman. Even if the first one was a shemer chinam, and the second was a shemer sarver, I trust you, and I don't trust the other person. If it was the normal that it will be mafkid also by the second shemer, then the first I can say, Zadov Shifkadi Nasir, Shadam Emma, Isi Mafkid Nasir, it's all Zashifkadi, and it's like, Ushlai Machimas, Kitsi Mashwurase. How does he make it less? Kedain Shahaya Mufka Esther Besafar, and if Kid is all this, I shame Bechinam. Now, even if when the article was originally entrusted, the owner was working for or hired the first watchman, the first watchman removed the entrusted article from his domain and trusted it to another watchman. Hey, if the second watchman was able to bring proof that would free the first watchman from responsibility for guarding the article, he's not high of case the house. So, Shemir Safar Shalas Lo Eim Ashwar Esli Shemir Kino Im Hevi Ashemir Shini Edim Shemisa Beis Beim Akedak Arishin Shemir Richard Potter. Thankfully, it's Bazal. 
paid watchman is entrusted, an animal that was entrusted to him to an unpaid watchman. If the second watchman brought witnesses to testify as the animal died in a natural manner, the first watchman is not. Chayef, same applies to all situations. Halacha vav, last halacha the pedic. Shem yishem asal shem ra'achar ve'es yishem asal shem ra'achar ve'es yishem asal Another by when a watchman entrusted an animal, trusted him to another watchman, and increased the responsibility of the watchman, the animal died, the owner receives the benefit. Kate said, How so? Sit her, part of the Vishil, after a mesa, the dark, the other shell, the other shell, the high bakil, the other shell, 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 the cow from a friend and then lends it to another person. Afterwards, the cow dies in an ordinary marry manner in the position of the bar. Since the bar is required to make the full restitution, he should make the restitution, he should return the worth of the cow to his owners. When a person was in possession of the entrusted object belonging to a friend and gave it to another person to bring it to the owner, since the first watchman is responsible for the article until it reaches its owner's domain, if he desires to retrieve it, the article from the second watchman, he may. If it's established that the first watchman has denied that property was entrusted to him, he cannot retrieve the article from the second watchman, although he remains responsible for the entrusted article. The halachas. Three halachas that the Tata says with regards to the four Shemnim apply only with regards to movable property that is not hectic and which belongs to Ayit. Money in articles or any animal. So this excludes the number one landed property and slaves, for they are equated with landed property, and it excludes. Notes for they themselves are not money and hectish. That it says, Never key that he shall be a yotz and if see, be yotz and if see. It's also excludes also property owned by a guy. We can't um, how other my fellows are going to go to the ship or to the shell of any nation, but they don't swear. But they suffer is a fair and if shallows of David, can't be other if the watchman performed the key and confirming his responsibility to which articles hide back from this. Chamna ordained that the oaths required of a watchman should be taken with regards to this property, the same manner as required by the Tera, with regards to other properties so that they should not deal lightly with Hektish. It appears to me that Hashem was negligent with regards to the care of slaves, has to pay. It's only part of these things. Shem Haya Shem Rechidim Al Matav Lo Dinu Boav Do Yishav Avodah Or Pleasure Tars Pat Meshua. Shem Haya Shem Rechidim Al Matav Lo Dinu Boav Do Yishav Avodah Or Pleasure Tars Pat Meshua. Shem Haya Shem Rechidim Al Matav Lo Dinu Boav Do Yishav Avodah Or Pleasure Tars Pat Meshua. Shem Haya Shem Rechidim Al Matav Lo Dinu Boav Do Yishav Avodah Or Pleasure Tars Pat Meshua. Shem Haya Shem Rechidim Al Matav Lo Dinu Boav Do Yishav Avodah Or Pleasure Tars Pat Meshua. Shem Haya Shem Rechidim Al Matav Lo Dinu Boav Do Yishav Avodah Or Pleasure Tars Pat Meshua. Shem Haya Shem Rechidim Al Matav Lo Dinu Boav Do Yishav Avodah Or Pleasure Tars Pat Meshua. Shem Haya the, my teachers issued the following ruling with regards to a person who entrusted his vine to a sheer cropper or to a watchman and makes it tonight that he dug, pruned, or dusted from his own researchers. If the watchman is negative and does not perform the required test, he's chayv as if he destroyed with his hands. When a person trusts produce that is growing on land, even grapes that are ready to be harvested, to a friend, it is said to be landed properly with regard to the laws of washer. A person trusts consecrated property to a washer and then redeems it, and so it was no longer consecrated at the time when the owner takes it from the washer. Uh, so all these halachas, there's no, there's no head to it. After the Isha, after the Isha, did Hashem ever enjoy a dover from all Isha, Isha, every other Isha? 
uh, apply, borrowers apply equally to men or women. This applies if the woman is the owner of an entrusted article, the article is trusted or cured. When a minor trusts an article to an adult or lends it to him, the adult must take the oath require a wife to the minor. My teachers ruled that an adult is not taking the oath because of the claim of the minor, which instance the oath should not be required. If an oath is never taken with regard to the claim made by a minor, the rational is that all oaths Taken by watch, are taken because of the claim. Definitely the chum the shiva, but the kuzis have to from a shiva. She comes sorry, Rishan. Just as the chacham ordained that a purchaser must finalize his acquisition of articles from a shiva, so too they ordained that a watchman responsibly for articles established from a shiva. I'm not going to share these. I'm going to hand up the fun of our position, Rishanam. A person tells a friend, "Watch an article for me, please." He tells him, "Place it in front of me." He's a shiva, Rishanam. I'm going to have to find out how to stand. If he tells the person, place it down before yourself, or place it down without saying anything else, but tells him, my house is before you, he's neither a paid watchman, nor is an unpaid watchman, nor is it obligated to take an oath. However, on an article may make a band, it should apply to anyone who takes an article, and not return it to his owner. Similar principles apply to all analogies. Whenever a person shorts lends or rents an article to a friend, the same Allah applies whether or not transfer is observed by witnesses. When the watchman self admits that he served as a watchman or he borrowed an article, he is required to take an oath. Require a watchman will not employ the principle of Migui to absolve a person of the responsibility of an oath. All to free him of the possibility to make restitution. Even if the article that was borrowed and trusted or rented was worth only a prota, the watchman is required to take an oath concerning it. None of the watchmen are required to admit to a portion of the claim to An unpaid watchman may make a thanai to be free of the responsibility to take an oath and the barman to Stipulation to be free of the responsibility to make restitution. In Master Bob Godal Shimmer Knox, Mr. Strafferos, the Henry Lee is five of coal trade. Similarly, the owner of the trusted object may be. They tie the unpaid watchman, a paid watchman, or a borrower will be liable to all situations as a borrower. She called time, Mummy, sure, Mummy, time, but instructing the lady. It's all the time, and it does not witness it in our court. Tun, Zeshahid, Shamtai, Shimmer, and Mary, Larry, Shamtai, if one says it's time, the Shimmer says not. Makes a shua on the basis of the principle of Google Shua, and to clue his oath that there was no stipulation of oath. The owner of the object claims that he trusted until a watchman. The watchman answers that he just said, Place the article before yourself, and thus never came, became obviously a watchman. The friend is required to take a shua assesses that this was. The manner in which he should receive the article, he should include in the oath that he did not use it for his own purpose, destroy it with his own hands, or cause it to destroy the manner the obligation to make it. The owner of the object claims, I lent it to you, I read it to you, or I trust it to you, and the guy said, never happened. So then, a person owns 
karka that another person is using, or he has metatlin that he has given him as an entrusted object, and he seeks to appoint the shteh to carry out legal procedures with that other person to take the property or, or entrusted object from his possession. He has to compose a deed granting the power of attorney, and he must conform, perform a kinyan certifying that he was he was granted power of attorney, telling him take it to court, acquire it, and take it for yourself. If the Mishalech does not compose such a deed for the Shliach, he may not enter into litigation on his behalf. The defendant will argue, you are not the party with whom I have contention. Now, even if the, the Mishalech does not comp- does compose such a deed, the Shliach is no more than that. Any property that acquires belongs to the principal. Now, and any expense undertaken by the Shliach with regard to the Machlekes, for which he was given power of attorney, must be borne on the principal. For it's also written in the deed granting power of attorney, any expenses that you undertake, in this case, I, undert- I, I, I undertake to pay. The principal transfers ownership to the person to whom he gave power of attorney, granting him only a third or a fourth of the property his friend is holding. The person granting power of attorney may enter into litigation concerning the entire holding. Since he is entitled to enter into litigation concerning the portion that he owns, and he is justified to enter into litigation with him, he may enter into litigation concerning the entire amount. One of the group of partners who have not divided an estate between themselves. One of the groups or one of the group's partners come and lodges a claim on a portion of the property that asserts to be his own. Now, his claim involves the entire property. The defendant must respond to him since this person owns a portion of the property in question. He does not need power of attorney from the other partners. Now, if the defendant prevails, another one of the party partners cannot take and make a claim against the partners who engaged in the litigation, telling him, if I had been there, I would have raised other arguments and caused the defendant to be chayv. The partners who engage in the litigation can tell him, why didn't you come and raise those arguments? The other partner was in another country. That partner can seek out the defendant and enter litigation against him, telling him, I do not agree with all the arguments my partner raised. Defendant can delay telling the first partner, either enter into litigation concerning only your share, or bring me power of attorney for the other party. I am holding property belonging to you, and both and you both are involved parties in this case. Tomorrow, your brother, or your partner will come and also lodge a claim against me. A husband needs power of attorney to lodge a claim concerning his wife's property. If, however, there is produce on the property, he has the right to lodge a claim concerning the produce for it belongs to him. He may also lodge a claim about the property for it is his wife does not own the property. He has no right to the produce. Although a person has entrusted an object to a friend or given him a loan, whether removable property or money, and appointed a shliach in the presence of witnesses to bring that object or loan back to him, the option belongs to the borrower or the lender. If he desires to give it to the shliach, he's no longer chayv and he's free of responsibility. If he does not reach the principle for the vim ratzalitin any nation shin baldin achshavim barshal bikodin. Does not desire to give him to the shliach, he is not required to do so, for the shliach is not a litigant. This applies unless the shliach brings power of attorney from the owner of the entrusted object. 
or every person who comes to demand payment from a friend uh, using the power of attorney. Subscribe in the Navi, he did what is not good amongst the people. Pasik Vav, Pasik Vav, Halacha Vav. Hatevea Chaveri be din metalpone be my shift the arts of a coffer by any Yachalit of our shush, our love. Shinim Sezek and Meshaka Shu Emerle, her she sech little mashish li biod, plenty for armor, plenty shanly at the clum. When a person lodges a court claim against a friend for either movable property or money he entrusted to him, and the defendant has already denied it, the plaintiff cannot write a bill giving another person power of attorney to collect his property or money from the person. As far as it is, it appears to be making a false statement. For he says, I am granting you power of attorney to take everything that I own, so that he has so and so, and he has already denied possessing anything belonging to this principle. A person is required to take an oath in response to a friend's claim. That friend cannot grant another person power of attorney to have an oath administered. So far is that he's not transferring to the prospective agents uh, an object of substance. A person cannot transfer power of attorney to claim that involves merely words, for words cannot be transferred unless they're associated with financial claim. When a person has entrusted money to a friend and desires to grant the power of attorney to bring in, a Kenya Chalipin is not affected. For money is not acquired through Kenya Chalipin. What should he do? She should give the Shtech a portion of land of any size or transfer the money to him by virtue of his acquisition of the land, the intent that he takes it with the power of attorney. Shtech may then go enter into litigation and take the money. If a person lends money to another person, he cannot compose a bill transferring power of attorney concerning it. This applies even if the loan is recorded to a legal document, as far as that a loan was given with the intent that the borrower spent the money. So the money is given, uh, the person cannot, the uh, only way he can transfer ownership to a chayv is through a mamr shloshtan, which is dictate whose rationale cannot be explained. Or through transferring the debt by writing a a deed transferring ownership of the note and giving it to the recipient. For this is the way one transfers the lien um, that the note conveys. So I think she early Gemara, this is my understanding of the laws of Gemara, of the law from the Gemara. The Ghanim, however, ordained that one may not grant power of attorney with regarding a loan, so that one should not take money belonging to a friend and go to the distant country. They also made it a kind that if a person was granted power of attorney to collect money belonging to a friend that was held Another person to demand payment of a loan for him, and the person transferring the chayv that on his own, he may he could transfer it to him only four amas of his heritage in Eretz Yisrael. Such statements appear to be extremely flimsy and substantial, insubstantial. For he used to say that a person has a portion of Eretz Yisrael. Um, and even if he's fit a portion in it, is it presently it's presently not in his possession. The Gainim made a takana the ruling not say that Allah pierced the mountain, instead they explained that the ruling was issued only to intimidate the defendant so that he if he desires to enter into litigation, pay the money to, when presented with the power of attorney, he is no longer under our obligation. Similarly, the Ghanim rule that if a person granted a friend a loan, whether it's supported by a note or a Kenyan observed by witnesses, even though the person denies the obligation in court, the deed is granted power of attorney can be composed because the defendant is denying a claim on the lien property. Ches. 
When a person granted power of attorney to one individual and then desired to nullify his agency and grant power of attorney to someone else, he may nullify his first appointment. Person granting power of attorney, however, may not grant power of attorney to another person for the principal may not agree, saying I do not want to property entrusted to another individual. Shleach has stipulated he has given the right to grant power of attorney to someone else and the, and have that person grant power of attorney to another. The agent may write a deed granting power of attorney to a second individual and that second individual may do so for a third. Everyone follows the situation. When a person was, who was granted power of attorney waives a payment owed by defendant sells him the article uh, he was then to collect waives his obligation to take an oath or negotiates a compromise with him. His actions are no substance with the principal. Tell the agent, I sent you to improve my position, not to impair it. If you give him his name, maybe in the sacrament of the office, I feel the is a machal. So then, it waives payment for the entire obligation. Ruben Shabbat Vashar Batov Shimon in Shimon, Yochot Chis, Valim Shemo, Am Shadar Isra Shachar, Rubito Stuchuska, Shadu and Emre Lay, Tain Liap Kotan Shesh to Biotra, Vazuha Shos, Etias, the Havim, Amafka, the Shah. When Reuben is granted power of attorney and files a claim against Shimon, Shimon cannot turn him, saying, maybe the principal who sent you appointed another person to nullify the agency. For Reuben will tell him, give me the article that was entrusted, and I will leave the deed recording my power of attorney with you. If the principal does not, does in fact grant another person power of attorney, he has caused him a loss. Shimon is not liable, for he has give, gave the object to a person with power of attorney. Ruben comes to the power of attorney from Shimon, demands payment from Levi, and Levi tells him nothing like this ever happened. But if Shimon wants, he may take a shvur and collect the article. He claims we take the money from Levi and we keep it in base until Shimon comes and takes the oath and collects the article. With regard to any claim that Levi makes, this is dependent on Shimon. That is dependent on Shimon. Ruben should enter into litigation regarding this matter, and the property should be placed in the court until Shimon comes and questions it. Ruben may put a chedim issued against anyone who issues a false claim to withhold payment and delay it. Levi is required to take an oath. He may not delay and say, I will not take an oath until I have Chedim issued in the presence of Shimon against anyone who issues a false claim against me. For the, inst- the issue is on the Chedim is merely a minor ordinance that the later Chedim ordains that the litigants will be forthright in their claim and do not delay having the defendant take an oath because of the minor ordinances.